chose what I know. Uh, but I know more than I did. It's not even mystery hour. I know more than I did 43 minutes ago, a lot more. And and the, the look, here's the thing, and this might upset some people, some, some unionists, but... Uh, <laughs> And I know lots of people vote for the SNP who, who, who clearly are not actually desirous of independence or, or passionately desirous of independence. The numbers don't support the idea that every SNP vote would automatically translate into an independence vote. But, 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 how can you justify this continuing refusal to allow the people of Scotland to, to, to have a say on their own future? And don't cite the last referendum as, as they did and it was done for a generation because subsequent to that the people of England essentially handcuffed themselves to Scotland and drove the car off a cliff and whether you're ready to admit that yet or not as a Brexiter I'm afraid you simply can't point back to um, the 2014 referendum as being as being definitive or settled because two years later a conservative government in an English parliament pursued a course of such utter idiocy that Scotland ended up against its will being dragged out of the biggest single market in the world. Scotland ended up against its will. Good God, if, if the United Kingdom is the first country in history to have voted to impose economic sanctions on itself, Scotland must be the first country in history to have had economic sanctions imposed upon it by a vote of its so-called union ally. Uh, madness. I mean, genuine madness, actually. I'm doing it a lot at the moment. I'm trying too hard to be balanced. So it's my curse. But I, 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 I just imagine for a moment that I was James McBrien instead of James O'Brien. And my goodness me, today's result would be sending me round the... round the... It'd be sending me loopy. How dare you? How dare you? But how much of that is built upon my utterly evidence-based dislike of the current iteration of the Conservative Party. Imagine, imagine, seriously, having to look to Westminster from Scotland and to see Boris Johnson and Liz Truss and the rest of them making an absolute dog's dinner of pretty much everything while also being told, no, 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 we're in charge of you. And people like Jacob Rees-Mogg standing up in the House of Commons to claim that it's a union of equals and then not being able to name the Secretary of State for Wales who's in his own cabinet. Got that off my chest. It's 10.45.